G'day you Bundy Legos, it's Nate J.U. here. <laughs> out in uh, the, the country with uh, Father, the dad of the high country. Have a look over here. <laughs> anyway, we're having a look at this buddy. Slick bit of equipment. We have the, uh, the Mo Top rooftop tent. line profile it's uh, pretty light and I've had a couple of people ask me about it so I'm making a video to get it all bloody sorted for ya. <laughs> anyway, at the back here we get the tele telescope ladder which comes with it. Um, I've had to improvise because um, we're on a bit of a hill here but this thing bloody slides up and down. All right. Pretty cool. Anyway, you get these two little Bars that hold out the um, the awning, which is pretty mint. Wall at the front here, so that covers that zips up. But I've got it open for now. I've got it rolled up at the top there, and then uh, each side has got the same thing. They've both got windows which uh, zip up and fly that out. Um, Best thing about the windows is the uh, the actual canvas that zips up blocks out a whole lot of light. It's not perfect, but about where the eight o'clock sunlight will just sort of come through. It's um, pretty pretty good how much it blocks out. Next best thing is that this thing just pops straight up with the struts. You just got to press on that handle at the top there, and it'll go straight up. Um, <clears throat> setting up and packing up usually takes about eight ten seconds. It's got this strap here. When I want to pack up, I'll make sure that strap's in the middle and when it gets compressed down, it will pull in all the material with it and you just have to shove it in and then you'll see these two latches on the side here. They just come down and they go straight in there. It's pretty universal with all the, um, the rails in here. So you can put, you can make up something yourself or you can, they've got roof racks that you can bolt into the top layer. Um, and all that kind of stuff. This one is the biggest model they have, the MX-135, I think it is. I have no idea what it's actually called. <laughs> it's wholesale, it's mainly distributed through MW Toolbox um, and Clayton, Victoria. So anyone in Victoria, that's the best place to sort of get it. The only real issue I've had with it thus far is um, when it's a real cold night and I'm in there and I'm in my warm sleeping bag, there will be a fair bit of condensation in the morning, but the fact it takes six, eight seconds to set up, 10 seconds, is enough for you to just open it back up again and then just let it air out and you just literally unzip the windows, air will come through and then dry it all out again so you're good to go. In terms of mounting, they've got two rails that run straight down the guts. My particular tray setup, I had to change it, make custom brackets. So depending on your roof rack and your setup will be different. But they're just rails that run all the way through and they're just bolted in the top part. Um, and then you're pretty much ready to go after that. I'll give you a look in the inside. Here we are in the top of the roof tent. Um, at the moment, I've got the mattress perked up, purely because of um, the wetness. It's a bit of a condensation that's down there. So those bolts there, these bolt into the rails that are directly below. So here we are on the top of the rooftop. These just roll up. These are the canvas that rolls up to the side and blocks out a fair bit of light. They've got these pockets on either side, which are handy for storage and all the above. And then they've got this cargo net, which is fantastic for chucking pillows or um, any sort of used clothing, clothing if you're getting changed up here and getting it out of the way. And I've just put in a little solar light up here. So these roll up and they can get zipped up. This mattress is a 70 mil mattress. It's um, it's not the comfiest, but it will take some time to sort of sturdy it in once you've used it a few times. As you would have seen before, all the bolts are underneath this. Packing this up with pillows and stuff in there. My sleeping bag plus uh, one pill or two pillows is absolutely maximum I could probably do with this. In terms of uh, packing up all this kind of stuff with um, sleeping bags and pillow in there, I get two sleep, uh, one sleep, big sleeping bag in here with one pillow and I can't, I can barely, I can just close the latches on the side so it's, it's pretty tight um, and it, you're going to definitely need two people um, to unfold it but another, other than that it's a, it's a really great tent, um, we're really happy that we've got it. Um, we're going to be going through Red Centre when we do when we do use it a whole lot, so they'll be putting it through its paces. But um, other than that, it's a really great tent, and 
would recommend.